Hello, networkers. Welcome back. And in this particular episode of Ask the Network Engineer, I will answer one of your questions that was posted on our very first video that we did. And it's a great question. I should have done this a long time ago. So I want to read you the actual comment that was placed, and I want to talk about that. So this was a comment placed by Daryl, and he said, why are there so many network engineers on YouTube and not in the job market from the Paul Brownings to you? I've seen many network guys try to break into the YouTube video blog market over the many years. With the 6,000 jobs lost at Cisco this year, is this a changing career for you moving from the actual networking field to a YouTube instructional teacher and is networking really a is networking really still a viable job career great great question and really there are many questions within your question and i want to kind of break it out one by one so the first part of the question was are network engineers moving towards doing more blogs and video blogs like on YouTube or their own channel? The short answer is not a chance. It's not enough for a full-time job. It just isn't. And here's something to keep in mind as a good baseline, especially on YouTube. Look at some of the top channels that you see on YouTube. These are like PewDiePie, which has 30 million subscribers. Another one is Jenna Marbles. Her channel has uh, 13, 14 million subscribers. So she makes roughly around 4 million a year on her channel alone. And there's other similar channels, 10 million, 20, 30 million subscribers. Now look at YouTube and all of the networking related channels. You will see that there are a very small number of subscribers. Cisco, the largest networking company in the world, has a channel on YouTube that has 84,000 subscribers. Fortinet has 6,000 subscribers. Juniper has 8,000 subscribers. CBT Nuggets, they have roughly around 50,000 subscribers. Our channel has around 4,000 subscribers. And Paul Browning's channel, that was mentioned in the comments, six to 7,000 subscribers. They're very, very, very small. And from that, it's not enough to actually live from. So we're on YouTube really for different reasons. One, and probably the big part is, is that it is something that we're doing extra on the side, something extra. Uh, it's also used as a promotion, marketing tool, uh, promoting our company and our services. But it can also be seen as a collaboration of collaborating with other network engineers that's out there. Keep in mind, as network people, we are a very, very small community of people. You know, like, you know, very small. And that's how we can collaborate with one another. So network engineers doing video blogs or blogging is very, very, very rare. It's not enough to actually make a living from. It is something that we're doing on the side. Case in point, Pack of Life website. So Packet Life is run by Jeremy. And if you are a networking person, you probably know about Packet Life. So it's probably one of the largest blogs I personally know about that's out there. He's very knowledgeable. His name is Jeremy. He has a good following that you can see on Twitter. But guess what? That's not his primary job. He is a network engineer working for another company. There are other people that are in a very similar situation. And me personally, YouTube is not even close of making a living from. It is something that we're collaborating, but it's also something that we use to promote our services to our networking um, comrades like yourself. The second part of the question was, is this a new direction that I'm moving towards? Am I doing networking? Am I in the networking field? Absolutely that pays the bills. I'm just being honest with you. As I mentioned before, YouTube is not viable for making a living from. Because remember, we as network folks, we're a very small community. So I do professional services on a daily basis. I have clients that I work for. 
and I do more design services. So I, I don't do troubleshooting anymore. Like call me three in the morning. That's not what I do anymore. I do design services where I um, do a design for a customer and I present it to their networking team for them to deploy it. Now, sure, I do the occasional deployments of setting up firewalls and switches, data center switches, things of that magnitude. I do that as well. Those are different projects that are definitely what I work on. And I do the occasional troubleshooting issues that comes up. That's part of, that's part of the job details. You have to do troubleshooting if you are in the IT field. But I spend more of my time in our training program. So you can get all that on routehub.net. I spend most of my time there creating the content that I do. And a lot of that stems from the projects that I work on with our clients. That is what I'm doing in the networking field. It's not video blogs. It's not blogging. That is just something extra that I'm doing of promoting our company and collaborating with you guys. Because as I mentioned before, I am a fan. I love networking. I have I have been a fan since for the past 15 years. So that is basically what I'm doing. I have no plans of moving into a video blogging kind of job career because there is no job career um, in that particular field. And the last question that you asked, Daryl, which is a very good question, is, is networking still a viable field to begin with? Cisco laying off 6,000 people. Well, here's, uh, so here's my answer from my experience. Networking is definitely a viable profession, but it depends on two main components. One, you have to be heavily certified because remember, everybody has a resume that can configure MPLS or routing or switching, data center switches. That's a dime a dozen. You got to stand out and having or being certified makes you stand out from the crowd. I personally have seen that in different environments. There are different companies that want to hire network engineers. So I come in as a advisor to them to help them with that. So I've seen tons of resumes and yes, we can all do OSPF. We can all do BGP. So something has to stand out. So being certified, that's what really stands out. So you got to be certified in terms of trying to reach for that CCIE if you're really a network engineer. It will make it a lot easier to be employed. Number two, which is also very important, is that you must also be heavily experienced. And this is a problem that I have been seeing of me trying to find uh, like contractors or other network engineers that can work for me to do various projects. That, there are, that they are qualified in some particular technologies. Like they can do a little bit of routing, a little bit of switching. Let me explain what I'm talking about, what I actually require and what companies are after and what they're, and what they're asking about. So on a typical day for me, I do a lot of um, voice communication, whether it's Cisco Unified Communication Manager or Call Manager Express. I deal with that a lot. I do a lot of VPN technologies, and I'm not talking about just the standard site-to-site -site VPNs. I'm talking about the advanced VPN technologies of DM VPNs. There are a lot of companies that are not using private WAN technologies. They're using their internet, and they want a full mesh VPN solution between their locations. So DM VPNs is fantastic for that. For newer hardware, we're doing flex VPNs, but that's very, really rare. Uh, DM VPNs are very, very effective, and I, I'm a big fan of DM VPNs. And that also includes Get VPNs for private WAN connections. So I deal with that a lot. I also deal with a lot of, of course, routing with LAN switching VLANs. That's of course is very common, and of course working with many different vendor appliances. Not just Cisco, like a Cisco switch or a Cisco firewall, but I'm also talking about Apollo Auto Network's next generation firewall, a FortiGate firewall. And, you know, you, you kind of get the idea. So having all that range of experience, that is what companies are looking for. And if you have that experience, then that allows you to do more consulting. And consulting gives you a lot more flexibility 
But the big advantage to that is to have this level of experience. You know, this is what companies ask me, you know, can you support VPN? Can you support our voice environment? Can you support our data center environment? We also have a Palo Alto Networks firewall that's connecting to our Cisco firewall. Can you support that? Yes, I can. That's what they're after. And a lot of their feedback is that they're seeing that some people, they can do a little bit of routing, a little bit of switching, but it's not good enough. So networking is a very good viable field if you have that kind of experience and that you are certified. Also, uh, BGP. BGP is something that companies, if you really know and master BGP, you're in a really good position. Because remember, BGP is, is, is a lot different from any of the IGP protocols of OSPF or EIGRP. And if you mess that up, there are consequences to that. Now, luckily, BGP is not really challenging, but that's one of the components that companies also are looking for. Can you do BGP as well on top of voice, data center, wireless, you name it. So that is something to keep in mind if you really want to get into the networking field. You have to invest the time for learning about technologies and being trained on these technologies. And that's kind of the baseline of our website, routehub.net, is, is to provide all that type of level of training because that is the exact kind of stuff that we're doing for our clients today. So once again, thank you very much for posting your question, Daryl. It was a great one. And there are more questions that are lined up that I want to release in future videos. So thank you for watching. And once again, post your questions about being a network engineer or anything in the networking field in the comments below. And I will bring up and talk about your question in a future video. So once again, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel and I'll see you next time.